So in S Trust, SSO2 is the transaction code where we can create the certificates, system certificates we can create it here. S Trust, SSO2 is the transaction code here. For the certificates renewal, our certificates, signed certificates, imports, and everything here. So this is a system PSC, which means system internal PSC, system internal PSC. So one system to other system, uh, without so like sometimes what will happen? So within the within the labor landscape only. So this is a portal system. This is your ECC system. So the portal wants to pull the data from the ECC. Then the portal certificate we have to import to the here. Our EC certificates we have to import to the here. Both the side we have to import the certificates. So where it means this certificate we have to download it. This certificate we have to download it here. We have to export it. Then we have to export it. We need to import into the portal systems or Java systems or some other SAP systems. We have to export it this one. We have to do the exports of this one, right? This you have to do the exports of the systems. We have to do it here, portal system certificates and everything here, right? So in case of, in case of, uh, this is uh, this is for the system to system SSO connections. So trusting purpose, we will use the this system certificates. In case of this is not exist, right? Click on here. Click on the create or replace. Then, so you can just to change the whatever the naming convention, CN is equal to company name, common name, organizational units, then organization, whatever you want, your C is equal to company, so city, so then you can type it here, all those things here. Then, so that is the system PSC. SNC crypto library means SSC, SNC, when you are doing the SNC configuration, that time the SNC will be enabled. So SSL server standard, SSL server standard here. SSL server standard means SSL server standard certificates. So which means, let me delete. Okay. So for the HTTPS communication purpose, we will use the SSL server standard. HTTP communication purpose, HTTPS communication. HTTPS communication purpose, we will use the so this 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 one as a HTTPS like system to system pure HTTPS communication on because HTTP is not the secure HTTPS S is the secure so if you enable the HTTPS all the connections which are going coming to your system is going to out your system it should be HTTPS it should be HTTPS connection here so that time so we can use the that time we can use the, that time we can use the, so this HTTPS SSL server standard certificate, we have to do that work. But, so, but here, one thing is here, uh, one thing is here, you see, here we need to create the SSL server standard certificates, we have to create it here. See any company name, your company details, everything, we have to create it here. Once it is creation is done here, Right. Once the creation is done here, so what we have to do, this is done. But it is a self-signed, which means it's not trusted by the our CA authorities. It's not trusted by the CA authorities here. In that case, suppose like if you open any URL in your system, it's not trusted, which means it's not the secure one. Suppose example, if you open the web GUI here, right? Web GUI. So it's not secure one. See here, it's seeming like it's a not a secure one, not secure one here. It's a not secure one here, right? It's a not secure. So it's not the secure one here, HTTP. But if you type the HTTPS, that is a secure one. HTTPS is the secure one here. Then double code three. So that is HTTPS port number. But it's not the secure one, HTTPS port also. Why? Because the certificate is not a valid one. Today only you create, it's not a valid certificate. It's not a valid certificate here, right? It's not a valid system certificate here. So HTTPS connection is a secure one, but this is also not secure. Why? Because just know you created a certificate, just know you created a 
certificates in the S Trust SSO2 transaction code here. SSO2 transaction code here. So, but we have to renewable this certificate. That time we need to create a CSR request, which means create a CSR request. This request we have to create. Then we have to send an email to the identity providers. Identity providers means so like we have to send the email to the respective providers who will provide the signed certificates. Like we have the GoDaddy sites, DZ sites. There are the number of sites are there. So they will, so they will, they will share us the signed certificates to us here, right? Signed certificates, then they will send the signed certificates to us here. They will send it to the signed certificate to the here, right? So then that's at once we got the signed certificate from them with this code we have to send to them. They will provide the signed certificate. Then you need to import the response certificate to here. In this in this phase, you have to import the response certificate so that this will be the trusted by CA authorities. So that is the trusted one. That is the trusted one here. Okay. So that will happen in the systems here. So that is the SSL server standard. Pure HTTP incoming and outgoing HTTP communication purpose, we will use the SSL server standard certificates. Right. The next one is the anonymous certificates. Anonymous. Anonymous certificates here. Anonymous means client anonymous certificates means so the client PSC anonymous certificates. What is the client anonymous certificate means in a so one way SSL authentication. This is the one way SSL authentication. Anonymous client certificates authenticate. This will authenticate the credentials of the survey credentials. This will authenticate the the, the credentials of the server in the so the secure transaction it will use it here the credentials of the server it will use it here right so which include so here suppose like an uh, simply say we can say third party system certificates third party third party so you are connecting to some banking server some other third party system that time the anonymous pscs we can will import the certificates into the anonymous psc and the standard psc we will import the certificates here standard psc we will import the so the certificates here, right? Anonymous PSC, the certificate, those things we will import to the here, right? So in the client PSC, there the so one is the standard, and second one is the anonymous, right? Standard P standard means in the client both are the client PSCs only, but one is the standard, second one is the anonymous. So standard means it must be SSL to work means SSL communication should be work from other systems, then definitely that system should be exist here. So, so no other client PSCs to, it should not be required here. Means other third party system certificates, we have to import it. But you are transferring the data to some third party sites, right? www.https.google.com, something like that. So that system certificate we have to import to the here. In the client PSC here, Excel client PSCs we have to import to the here, right? So that is the one thing here. So this is the anonymous PSC means it's a server side authentication and data encryption. Server side, yeah, server side authentication and data encryption purpose. The anonymous PSC we will use it here, right? It might be a trusted CA root certificates. Right. So those things we have to upload it to the here. Right. So basically these two are for the client, SSL client, SSL clients, which means where we will get the connection to here or we will send the response back to them. That is the client. Client request a certificate. So those clients, we need to, those client certificates we have to import to the, in these two PSCs here. Right. These are the web services and remaining are not much useful, but only thing is, most important thing is the SSL server standard and system PSCs. So always your system should be the trusted one, HTTPS, then you should be a, this system certificate should be up to date. It should not be a self-signed. So which means this is valid one year, then every one year you have to renew all the certificates. Means every one year we need to create a certificate CSR request, then we need to import into the, our SAP system side, we have to import it. 
that is the s trust ss o2 transaction code here okay um, so gui2 sap system which uh, certification is supposed to use this is the one sap no which within the sap system if you are opening any urls or anything this is related to the sap this is the sap system only right this is the the uh, ssl server standard psc only but you are connecting to the www.icicbank.com or HTPS dot, HTPS dot. So then IC, ICI, suppose like ICICBank.com, you are connecting, right? So then this is the third party. Then if you are connecting from SAP to there, so your connection will broke. Why? Because this certificate, we have to import the certificate, the certificate, the bank certificates we have to import into the our system. Our system we have to import it. This bank certificate, our system we have to import then only. Suppose like if you are trying to connect the RFC destination, suppose like example, live example, go to the SM59, you are connecting to the HTTP connection, IC, ICI. Okay. So, example I am giving here, then https colon slash slash uh, what is that site name so this is the icsa bank you are sending the some data to the icsa bank doctor okay we'll see that but this will fail this will fail it here we will see here connection is failed because of the certificate is missed here the certificate is not exist here the certificates see here the certificate inactive certificate is referring to the client standard psc here so what we have to do now we need to we need to import the certificate here that system certificate we have to import we have to import the certificates here we have to import the certificate here so suppose you, you are sending the some bank payments and everything to the banking server so but the banking server is the https both should be the https why because if the not secure one you may face the issues if it's the secure one so then someone will hack it right so ssl handshake which means it's failing so in that case what we have to do so go to the yes trust sso2 transaction code then here you can import the certificates. Here you can import the certificate. Certificate. This is having errors. Let me delete. So we can import that system certificate to the here. So in the downloads, we downloaded, right? So we imported, right? We imported the certificate here. In a color automation call, error in the program notified. Okay. So we imported. So now, if you do the connection test here, it should success. It should success here. Suppose, like, where is that? I see, I see. So it should give the success results. So, why? Because the certificate we imported. Maybe in the logon security also, we can see what is the PSC it is calling. Means client certificate, client, client certificates. We are transferring the data here. Normally, they won't accept sometimes. Why? Because everybody is connecting to the banking sites means what is the security, right? So that's why the client to client communication, it should be no SSL response here, right? It won't respond. Definitely, it won't respond. Some other sites, it will connect it here. See here, here, standard site, standard, standard, standard PSE, you are connecting here, right? So it should match it. All the details should be match it here. So then only it will connect it here and only it will connect it that's why that type of certificates are if anything here 
So those certificates we have to import into the our SAP systems. Then our SAP system certificate, like SSL server standard certificates, we have to import into the banking server. So both the certificates are there. Our system call will be trusted. Then it will accept the connections. It will accept the connections here. Okay, that is the so certificates.